I always get emails from individuals asking, why do I need quantum grammar? And my standard response is, well, if you're asking that question, then perhaps quantum grammar isn't for you because I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. I'm just putting this out here for the people who want to learn it. And that's it. But the questions keep coming, so I thought I'd make a video addressing it. And I guess I'll, I'll bring it back to the psychology, which I've shared in other videos and podcasts, that learning this grammar is 90% psychological. Thinking that one needs, thinking that someone else needs to make something worthwhile to you to have a benefit is sort of backward psychology. Because the value of a thing is what you put into it, not what someone else puts into it, ultimately. Like, a certain kind of collectible could be sold for millions of dollars when it's a baseball card, a piece of cardboard, because of the value someone put into it. It may not be the same value for someone else, it just depends. And when you're sure of something, there is no cost that's too high if you want something whether that's a monetary value a time value whatever it is sweat equity so that type of question the psychology is kind of i guess it's a product of a capitalistic society maybe that's my uh guess so i'll use an analogy in this aspect i use the analogy that if someone's going to ask why do I need correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar? It's kind of like the same thing as saying, why do I need a healthy diet? Because that's sort of what the grammar, correct sentence structure, quantum grammar is. It, if, if one learns it with correctness, um, it takes out the particles of negation. It takes out those negative particles that poison the grammar. It's a grammar of closure. There are no definitions because DE means no, and we know what finite means. Finite means it's a limit. Contract. So definition means no finite contract. That's why you have multiple meanings for one word in a fiction dictionary. I use the term finite hyphen mean because that means there's a limit to the mean. There's a cutoff point. There's a value, like a vessel. A word is a vessel. You fill it with value, and it, it goes to the top, and you can't put any more value in it. It has a value. It has closure. And those are the two core elements of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now space and closure. We have all the now space we need to get the closure we want. So I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. I'm here to teach those who want to learn this grammar. So you can position yourself as a fact in the now space. You can position your claims as facts with correctness in the now space and be a steward of your grammar rather than being controlled by your grammar. Now notice I don't use the word control your grammar because control is a term of war it implies coercion it implies forcing something to do something that it doesn't want to do so i use the word steward you're guiding your grammar you're not fighting against it you're not trying to force it to do something you're just guiding it and i've found through personal experience that being a steward of one's contracts is much better than being controlled by one's contracts. To be able to be an author, an autonomous author of one's own contracts, rather than being controlled by someone else, whether that's a singular uh, man or woman, or whether that's some kind of club or community, or, you know, whatever it is, some corporation... You are the steward 
of your own grammar. And you use that to contract because everything is contract. So that is the long and short of it. Of course, I'm not telling anyone that they need quantum grammar. I'm just telling you an answer to a question that I get very frequently. Again, I'm not here to convince or sell anything. I'm just here in the public on this YouTube channel offering this knowledge to those who want to learn it and are open to learn it. Those who want to argue about it or don't have the patience or time to learn it, there are plenty of other avenues to take. And of course, that's the beauty of contract. It's all about choice. It's all about consent. It's not about using force. Thanks for watching.